This is deadline day for Donald Trump in the E. Jean Carroll civil trial because his attorneys have to let the judge know whether he will testify in person. Meanwhile, inside the courtroom, Carol was back on the stand today where she was asked about social media posts made by the former president. Carol responded by saying, I am suing him for saying this very thing. This is why we are here. NBC's Ron Allen is at the courthouse for us once again. Ron, first of all, any indications of whether Trump will testify and what's the latest from inside the courtroom? So far, there's been no indication that he is going to testify. And you're right, the judge has asked his attorneys to let him know by today whether the former president is going to come or not. The judge is concerned about security, about trying to let the courthouse staff know, let the uh, security know that they have to prepare for this. Because you'll remember when he came here uh, a couple of weeks ago to appear in the criminal matter, uh, there are huge protests, a lot of media attention. It shut down the courthouse and this whole area uh, for some time. So the judge wants to uh, anticipate that. Right now in court, Carol is back on the witness stand being questioned by Trump's lead attorney. And they are at the point now where he is questioning her about exactly what happened at Bergdorf Goodman. Yesterday, you'll recall, and for many, for some time now, she has painted a very vivid and graphic description of, of meeting Trump at the door, at the store, that uh, he asks her to go upstairs and help him buy a gift for another woman. They end up in the lingerie department, which is where she says this attack happened. Uh, Joe Tacopina, Trump's lawyer, is questioning her about every detail of Bergdorf. Uh, did she come in through a revolving door or was it a push door? Because uh, she has said on a number of occasions that she doesn't remember details about all this. She doesn't remember exactly when it happened, she the date, the month. Uh, earlier uh, in her questioning, she was asked about a photograph that where she and Trump were seen, and she was asked when that was, where that was. And there are aspects of all this that she keeps saying, I don't remember, I don't remember. But she does say she vividly remembers the attack. And that's what the defense is trying Trying to do, uh, put in the jury's mind the fact that she can only remember this, but she can't remember these other things that she perhaps should. And we expect this questioning to go on through the afternoon, the cross examination, again, now really focused on what happened at Bergdorf. Why were there no witnesses uh, in this department store on Fifth Avenue in New York? Because no witnesses have come forward to say that they saw Trump and Carol in the store. Uh, he, uh, she described going up an escalator, six flights. Uh, no one saw that. Uh, they described, she described the area where they were shopping as uh, no store attendants around. Why was that? Uh, again, the defense, uh, Trump's attorneys are trying to convince the jury that her story is unbelievable. That's what they said in opening statements, and that's what they're trying to do now in cross-examination.